This is so what is the name of this room? Is it all these people listening to this room? Yeah, yeah all these people are now oh, listening so to the room. Hilarious. So people, we do this for four or five Whoa, hours. Every this day. is crazy. All these people just joined. Yeah. Have you ever you you you've had a lot of people? Oh, you know, this is bananas. Look at the <laughs> yeah. scroll. See, this is big. thousands of people just joined immediately. That is nuts. And they're all they're all just mining Bitcoin and listening to this. What is the name of our room? I think it's just I don't even know what it is. I think it's just Joe Rogan or, or no, it's just Tim Dillon. But now the people that you're in it, I didn't name it. You can name it anything you want, but I didn't okay. name it. How come you didn't name it? I just didn't name it. I wanted people to be surprised. This oh. is a big moment for Clubhouse. Oh, Christ. And then people are going to come in soon. Like the Weinsteins are going to be here in like three seconds. I don't know why they're not here already. Because why isn't Eric talking over us right now? I have no idea. Eric, Eric <laughs> is going to go. Eric's going to. Eric's probably like pulled his car over to the side of the road right now <laughs> and killed his family to right get on this right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we, we can't have an unfettered conversation. It's people is, like you. Oh, she's definitely this, in here. She, this should be do, fettered. This has to be fettered and moderated. And, and yeah, we need to fetter things. Yeah, once once she figures it out, she'll be in here big time. What do you? But so this is the app, and you could just jump into different rooms and talk to people about like, are you good for science? Am I good for science? Yeah, that was a yeah, room. Is Joe Roger good yeah, for I heard about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Progressive or problematic? Is that what it said? <laughs> yeah, I you mean, know. I try to be good for science. I really do, folks. Um, how many people are in this fucking room, man? Uh, we've got about. We've oh got my about god! There's almost two thousand people. <laughs> so the max will be five. The max is five thousand until hmm. they. Until they open it up, the max will be five thousand. I just, I just want to say that I'm here against my will. And Tim Dillon, who's been kicked off Airbnb and cut the line at Whataburger, <laughs> he forced me into this. This is, a, I think, a good move for Joe. I think I just want to get Joe comfortable with being listened to by a lot of people. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You know? I so what do we talk about? I mean, we talk about anything, you know? This talk is, about how uh, I lured you into Austin, only to yeah. trap you with the weather. We're all here in Austin, and, uh, you know, uh, it's a great time to be here, and uh, we're all, you know, boiling water to live. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. A lot of people lived on dirt floors, you know? That's why we're here today. People, <laughs> people lived when there was no such thing as electricity. How about that? That's, that's how you get to be a human. That's you know, a great there's, point. There's a lot of evolution that has to take place, and sometimes people things live, go backwards. People live when you couldn't get on a plane to can't go yeah. with your right. family. People get angry when they, you know, they find out someone's a prepper. Like, what do you want them to do? Starve to death, you fucks? That's a great point. People yes. do look, they look negatively at the prepper community, and yet the preppers are smart. Well, I was telling you, I don't know if I told you, but I have an apocalypse truck. Like, I, I <laughs> built a truck that has a giant gas tank. It could, it's a 1995, I didn't build it. I'm an idiot. I, I hired Jonathan Ward from Icon to build it. It's in the back. I'll show it to you. But it's, it's a fucking a truck that can literally drive over anything. And it came in really handy this week. I mean, I had to go to Home Depot to buy a grill because if the power goes out, you got to be able to cook. So I bought lump charcoal and one of those little Weber grills. And uh, I drove my truck out there and people are sliding off the fucking road and slamming into ditches. I was fine. Yeah. I, I mean, that's prepper. You're, you're a prepper, but you're, 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 you also are somebody who likes to survive like you think a lot about survival well i don't think about survival that much but i i do worry that people take for granted that the way things are now they will always be this way i i, I think we have there's a tendency to look at things because it's you know that's one of the things about marijuana right like people say when you, you smoke pot you get paranoid but i think it what it what, it, what that paranoia is there is real paranoia for sure, but there's also people recognizing that like, Hey, like we're vulnerable. And I don't, I don't think about that vulnerability because it's inconvenient and it keeps me from like doing like normal everyday tasks. But that's because you're smart enough to make the connection. What real vulnerability is. Cause a lot of people just get high and go, I think the guy behind me at McDonald's is a cop. Yeah. Well, sometimes he is a cop. Right. That's a good point. Right? Like point. if someone says like, I, I worry that the government's listening to me. 
Well, you, then you you listen to Edward Snowden talk about it. You go, oh, they right. are. Yeah. They fucking really are. So it's good to be a little bit of a prepper. And it's good. So yes. the, thing with, the, the thing with the Clubhouse app is there's all these people in the room. There's like 2,000 people in the room. There are people with their hands raised because they want to talk to you. We're not letting them in. Uh, there's people and, with their hands raised? Yeah. They wait want a minute. To Let me look at this video thing. Where they is want this? To, they want to say their hands raised. Joe Rogan. How do you know their hands are raised? Because I see it because I started the room and on the bottom there's 260, 277, 280. It keeps going up. People that want to talk to you. Come on. Swear really? to God. Yeah. Jamie's showing me right now. Are you now. unaware Jamie's of this? You're, you're, you're a famous person. I'm not are paying attention to anything, man. Yeah. Are you unaware of your, your you are popular and famous? Is Eric, Eric doesn't have his hand. Is Eric's in the room or is Yeah, I'm we're bringing, him? we're going to bring Eric up right now. Eric. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Here we go. Here he is. Here comes we Eric. bringing him in? Yes, he's in. Hey, oh, guys. Boy. What's going hey, on? Hey, fella. <laughs> I can't What's believe up? they got you, too. You were just telling me to get off this app. Listen, I'm hammered. <laughs> Tim and I just did a podcast. I, I had a couple of drinks, and I smoked a cigar, and we're in. Well, we're all on DMT and here to welcome you. So nice. To meet you. <laughs> well, that's not true. Don't lie to me. I'm vulnerable. Are you kidding? I'm eat eating frogs as we speak. What are those uh, little things in the corner of people? These little images in the corner of their, their like, what is that little thing? Oh, the party things. hat? I have no idea. It's a party, a party hat. Is that what it is? The party is hat that? is to tell people to be nice to you because you don't know the, the rules and culture of the app yet. It's protected. Really? Right. You're, you're new. Wait a minute. The party, that's what the party hat is? Like to tell people to be nice to me? Exactly. That's kind of cute. You, yeah. That's sweet. It's, okay. a, it's a way to welcome you to the app because you're not familiar with all the rules yet. What but happens if I accidentally click on one of these people? I'm, I'm scrolling through this. If click on them and they now they come up to talk to us. You oh, can, no. We don't want that, right? No, no. You're well, not a moderator. It, give, give them the power, Tim. Make them yeah, moderator. okay. No, ready? Don't give me any fucking up. power. Joe, you've just been made a power. moderator. You choose Shit. your destiny. Shit. All right. I'm gonna you can, you can bring someone up to talk. Can I get rid of them though? Once I, I invite them in? Yes. You yeah, can move try try getting rid of me. You can do that right now. No, I don't want to get rid of you. I love you. Come on, man. Don't can be I insecure. Use, <laughs> so uh, what's happening, man? Hey, what was the the verdict? Am I uh, a problem to science, or am I okay? Uh, definitely, uh, you're a pox on the face of science. You've embraced. No, that. no, no. People don't feel it. They, they, what they concluded was that you were eighty percent amazing. And 20%, wait for it, problematic. I agree with that. R really? You're only very only 20%? Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't do a lot of math, but I would say there's definitely no, an argument I, that some of the shit I say is useless. I think there was a good argument, actually, that said that maybe we should introduce people to a non-sanitized version of science, which is messier and crazier. And that, in fact, maybe what you're actually doing is closer to reality, where people have to say things that are wrong in order to make their, you know, way to the frontier. Mm, the frontier. Oof. How many people are in this fucking room? We got about 3,000 right now, Jesus Joe. Jesus Christ. And so at the bottom, the followed by the speakers, they're, those are the people that me and Eric follow. Um, and usually to grow rooms on Clubhouse, you like bring people like Adam, who's a really cool dude. He's a VC guy, venture capitalist in Austin. And he's like, Mr. Austin, he's in the room. Like there's a lot of people that are like, followed by both me and eric and then usually these rooms grow and you know it's it's an interesting thing and you know i spend about five to seven hours on here every day and <laughs> you have a lot of time you know so you can do that too yeah i don't have a lot of time that's the problem it's the reason why i've resisted this uh, tim uh talked me into doing this we just did a podcast it'll be out tomorrow and uh tim is in another room like right next to me here and Jamie is sitting here shaking his head, going, Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. What if what Jamie's if Spotify finds out you're hanging out on Clubcast? Then you're gonna have real problems. Do you think so? Actually, I, I don't, don't think it's that, in my contract. Well, I would imagine I think, that also uh, you, you know, one of the things that people assume is, is that somehow Spotify has control over you. And I, I think it's quite the other way around. I think that the weird thing about this app is is that the monetization stuff hasn't been figured out. And the key question a lot of us have is what will be the effect on long form podcasting if this kind of spontaneous stuff uh, with more interactive stuff 
uh, if more this, interactive features. Uh, takes if this off. somehow it, kills long form podcasting, then it deserved to die. <laughs> well, that's interesting because the other the other question is is that um, this is sort of like Discord, but Discord has more features, and the the crazy feature of this thing is is that it has fewer features, and that may actually increase the benefit of the experience. And we're we're still trying to figure that out. Mm, interesting. I'm waiting for um, Clubhouse to give me a buyout. <laughs> How much would it cost? Twenty-seven hundred dollars. That's all it takes, and you're out. No, if they if they gave me like three million dollars, I would just do everything. What if they just reinstated you on Airbnb? If they did that, then I would owe them a lot. Dude, if anyone's worth Airbnb, <laughs> so Joe, Joe, can I let Adam speak? He's like he owns Austin, literally. No, okay. no more people. Adam, we have sorry. Poor fucking people. <laughs> Adam, I tried. We have poor but... people in this fucking room. Isn't that enough? You do a podcast with four people. People are talking over each other. That's a good and point. One of them is Eric Weinstein's two and a half people. So we, we have a lot of people. I will be less. Come on, man. Don't be uh, less. Joe, Joe, do you think, but the potential for the app is kind of interesting. Yeah, for people that want to waste a lot of time talking to strangers. It's a great move. <laughs> what did Jamie say? What did you say, Jamie? Jamie you just got a text from someone about Clubhouse. You're too productive. About the one I'm in. You gotta realize that you should spend. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not too productive. That's not true. Yes. I'm. I listen. I am the laziest, disciplined person I've ever met in my life, and I know this. And I, I can't be involved in something like this. It's too much of a time suck. It has an interesting addictive uh, tech quality because, like, you know, you could just go on at any time and kind of get into it with people. It's instant friends. Yeah. It's a I, was talking, I was talking to Naval on the phone, Naval Ravikant. I was talking to him on the phone about this, and he was the one who sent me the first invite. I actually followed his invite. That's how I'm here. And, he, you know, we were talking, he was saying all these glowing things about it. And I'm like, okay, but it seems like it wastes a lot of time. And there's a pause. He goes, yeah, I waste a lot of time on there. I'm like, I can't do that, man. I can't, I can't fucking do that. Smart people waste time on this. Well, like, the, one of the things that I think isn't clear is that a lot of what the app is um, has to do with collisions between people who you'd be dying to hear a conversation between. So when you get one of these alerts that tells you the two people you didn't know even knew each other are in a room talking, about some topic that's that's interesting and then you get like three of these alerts and you have simultaneous rooms in which any one of these conversations would be very unusual i i think that's going to either go down or increase over time it's unclear whether it's a novelty effect or whether as people discover more uh more different more combinatorial possibilities whether the thing is going to uh, increase in interest I, i'm completely I, unclear i wish i paid attention to what you just said but i didn't so <laughs> what else is Jay? I'm just saying that you'll, you'll you'll get you'll get notifications that like um, um, no no my notifications are off. I don't even have my fucking real name, man. I can't, they wouldn't let me have my real name. Someone stole my name. These yeah, criminals. it's it's crazy, but I, I think that Joe, you only start to enjoy the app when you're like you have to just commit a serious amount of time to it, like I have, and then just keep going on. And you know, I mean, oh, good call. It's a fun, it's a fun. Don't you want to network, Joe? Don't you want oh, to be yeah. successful? This is what it's for. Joe, this could make your career. Yeah, Joe. Don't you want to grow an audience? This is why you're on it. You you could seriously get up to 50,000 followers quickly. <laughs> why do you think people do this? What do you think is the appeal of this? It's a good uh, way to network. COVID. COVID? I mean, well, if, if you're isolated and you're like, basically I use this to walk my dog and do my dishes, which is embarrassing, but it's pretty amazing as a, <laughs> as a, the, the, or you, the thing you have to be careful about is if you're talking while you're on the can, you have to be really good with the mute button. When you flush, you mean people don't want to know that you flush? It, well, let, let's not, let's lead over this topic and get to the next one. Tim, what do you got for me? Another well, topic. But no, Joe, what this is is good networking. Like you meet people that you wouldn't know from regular life. So you can become friends with people in all different worlds. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's Don't, different worlds? Yeah. Um, you, like Bitcoin and woke politics and it, everything. I mean, everybody's on the, the house, ma'am. Oh, okay. Uh, my friend Leah Lamar is in here. 
yeah. Okay, she wanted to say something, but you said there were too many people. So yeah, but I know her. We can invite her to speak. Bring her up, then bring Leah up. Okay, she's oh. in here. Hey Joe. Hey Tim. Hey Eric. Oh hey. Hey. Leah. hey. What's up? <laughs> Joe, What's up, woman? I'm I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to talk to you too. Wait, I have a question. Why, of all the photos you have of you, why did we decide on this one? Well, I just took it moments <laughs> ago. I took it right before I uh, I got on. This is all uh, I'm, I'm being like lured into here by Tim Dillon. He has some sort of uh, ulterior motive for me being on this. He wants to sell you Bitcoin. Ah, maybe. Is it is it working, Tim? I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to try to help Joe out to succeed. So I'm trying to bring him on a platform where he can meet interesting people and, you know, try to grow his thing. Is this uh, the biggest platform you have, Leah? It is, Joe. I'm having wow. a blast on here, to be honest. I, how many I people love you got, Clubhouse. How many people follow you on this thing? Too many, Joe. Oh my I, God, I you have 119,000 followers? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How long have you been on this thing? Well, so I got invited in early December and then I didn't really start using the app until like kind of mid December because I was confused on how to use it and no one I wasn't like properly onboarded and it's a little confusing at first. But now I'm I mean, I live here. I I I am embarrassed to show you my screen time of how many hours I spent Jesus. on here. This is my home. I should pay rent here. Do you, Lee is an is OG. it a good thing? Yeah, yeah. it's the best thing. Lee's an OG, and there's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's, this is, there's a lot of fun on here. Joe, I know you may not love to hear this, but um, so Tim did the show that um, Nicole and I host. Nicole's in the audience, too. Nicole Benham, she brought me on the app. We do a stand-up show every two weeks on here, and it's super fun because we get a crowd. You can get a crowd of over 5,000 people in a room. We haven't Lex hit, hit that Friedman number yet. Lex just tried to jump in. You can get a crowd of how many oh. people? Wait, I let Lex in. You you can I think the rooms now go up to sixty five hundred. That is but it was pretty it's pretty cool yeah and we were we were able to put hey Lex. Um, we were able to put well well well. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. What's up Lex? <laughs> What's up brother? You made it. Sorry, it's an yeah. iPhone crowd. It's I'm here, man. An iPhone. <laughs> you need to get an iPhone. Is that what you said? No, this made me get an iPhone. There's no Android. That's one of no, the. No, really? This... No Android people. Oh, that's rude. Do you have so you have a separate phone just for Clubhouse? Uh, for Clubhouse and for testing uh, apps on iPhone. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. By the way, Naval is here as well as Mark Andreessen. So this is sort of the weird attraction to it is that. What what would it take to have all these people in real life end up in the same place? It's much more difficult. Naval's in the room. Where's he at? Yeah, he's he's in There's the audience. Too many people. He's too not that far down. How, what, how far is he? Second Where is he? Row Where's Naval? I can't find him. Second row from the bottom. Not my row. Kind of oh, Naval's. In, hey, okay, he wants to be invited. I invited him to speak. Here we go. Hey, hey. motherfucker! You're the reason why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry to drag you into this. I was just explaining. Kind of I, I don't know if you heard, but I was explaining that you and I were having this conversation over the phone, and you were telling me how great it was. And I go, seems like a waste of time, though. And you're like, yeah, I waste a lot of time here. <laughs> <laughs> but what else do you do with your life anyway? I mean, aren't you frozen in right now? No, I drove here. I'm at work. I'm at the studio. Tim Dillon okay. did the podcast with me today. It's not been that bad, man. It's like, it's been bad for people that didn't have power and didn't have heat and didn't have food, but I'm not like a semi prepper. So I was uh, prepared at least slightly. I have a vehicle that can kind of drive over anything and I had plenty of food at my house. And uh, you know, it's, I grew up in Boston, man. I'm used to this shit. It's not that big a deal to me to have frozen roads. You can't go. The lesson of 2020 is that prepping pays off.